Those living with HIV were banned from COVID-19 clinical trials until activists got loud. The result may surprise you. The Trevor Project releases a survey of more than 40,000 young queer people, and I was shocked by these numbers. We have a lot to cover. I'm going to catch you up on all of it starting right now. Hello, I'm Josh Robbins, and this is LGBTQ Health Headlines presented by ONAN. COVID-19 vaccine clinical trials are underway globally as well as in the U.S. to find a safe and effective vaccine candidate to protect individuals from coronavirus. These studies are lengthy and they need a lot of individual volunteers committed to the ongoing clinical trial office visits. One large COVID-19 clinical trial wanted to ban those living with HIV from being considered for participation. And that decision didn't sit well with a large and vocal group of activists and HIV nonprofits and they mobilized. A change.org petition was created and directed toward the NIH health director since the NIH is in charge of several of these clinical trials. Quote, there is no clinical justification for excluding people with HIV from COVID-19 clinical trials, says the group's letter, and it worked. One COVID-19 vaccine trial launched July 29th, Moderna, and their inclusion statement noted that adults with pre-existing conditions who are in stable condition are eligible. Well, except for those living with HIV. Activists point to an undetectable status as having the virus well controlled and other medical experts agree. Well, the decision to ban those living with HIV from these trials was just reversed. The change.org petition was published and the company's release statements, Moderna announcing on Twitter that they would shift to quote, include people living with controlled HIV who are not otherwise immunosuppressed, end quote. Pfizer released a statement as well. They said, quote, we understand the importance of amending the protocol with regulatory approval to specifically state that volunteers living with stable HIV and other stable disease can be included, end quote. Well, good for them. If any group of people understand the importance of finding a vaccine for a pandemic, it's those living with HIV. And here are your current health headlines. 40% of queer youth in the U.S. have seriously considered suicide in the past 12 months, according to a new survey released by the Trevor Project's 2020 National Survey on LGBTQ Youth Mental Health. This survey of over 40,000 queer identifying youth in the U.S. is the largest of its kind and provides unique data on this diverse and resilient population. The full survey, along with calls to action, is available on the Trevor Project's website. Do you remember the Tennessee Christian conservative pastor Perry Stone, who reportedly blamed COVID-19 on marriage equality, saying it was part of God's reckoning? Well, LGBTQ Nation is reporting that Stone, shortly after making those outlandish statements, that his leadership at his church had to put him out of service because of alleged unrelated sexual misconduct with female co-workers. Uh, now he's apologized and asked for forgiveness in a public letter, of course, blaming it all on, quote, nonstop ministry and letting his guard down, end quote. In the letter, he also shares he asked his wife to forgive him I don't even know what to say. I couldn't make this stuff up even if I tried. In other queer news, the GLAAD Media Awards were held virtually this year because of COVID-19 and all the LGBTQ fan favorites were involved. But special mention to one of the outstanding winners of the outstanding blog category, My Fabulous Disease by Marcus King. King finally won the category. He was a five-time nominee, had never won the category, and it became a bit of a joke in the community. But congratulations to him this year. The joke is really on us because he also received the an award from the National Lesbian and Gay Journalists Association. Y'all, his blog's incredible. Check it out at marksking.com. I'm Josh Robbins, and this was LGBTQ Health Headlines, presented by ONAN. See you next time.